Hi, my name is Eleanor Benning. Um, I'm 15 this year, and originally I grew up in Lafayette, Indiana, and then our family of six moved out to Rancho Santa Fe, California about three, three and a half years ago. My horse that I'm here with this year is Banderas, so we're super excited to be here. My mom actually rides as well. I kind of grew up around the horses, and my sister for a while rode as well, so she got her bronze and silver, and then she got kind of involved with the college stuff, so it's just me and my mom now, but it's definitely something that we enjoy doing together. I was actually a working student for Meta Rosencrantz, and I was competing in the FEI Pony division with my Pony Kabam, and recently we had won the 2018 FEI Pony Championship, and we were looking for a horse, and we were driving out of the barn one day, and Meta pulled us over and was like, hey, do you want to come sit on this horse to see like what kind of size you'll need, because we're like, we want to move up, but we can't do it with the pony. So I sat on this horse, and I loved him. He was the absolute like coolest guy, he's the biggest gen Gentleness giant. I definitely did not need a horse that big, but I'm kind of glad that I have him now because he is definitely the best. So I work with Meta for a long time, we still do, um, and I would like walk the horse, kind of like cool it down, warm it up. So I was on the horse quite a bit and that's kind of when I was like, oh, I really, really like this horse. Really soon after that, there was a lady from Colorado that bought him and then we heard nothing for about a year. And then there was one night I was seriously sitting in bed. We had a little sales pony. So I was looking at new like projects to kind of bring up as like little ponies. And there's that this horse named Brad on Dream Horse. And I recognized the sales picture from like his ad from when Meta was going to sell him. I was like Either someone is using this picture to try to sell a completely different horse, or this is Banderas. Sure enough, I showed it to my mom, and she was like, there, I don't think there's any way this could be Banderas. It was in a completely different place in Ramona, and the horse's name was Brad. Um, but then we called the lady, and she was like, do you happen to know if this is Meta Rosencrantz's Banderas that used to be at Arroyo? She's like, yes, yes it is, how do you know that? And she's like, my daughter used to be a working student for her and loved this horse. So we went and tried him and at the time he was still rehabbing. So we didn't know if he would ever come back. So in April, we started bringing him back from about an 80% tail tear in his superficial deep digital flexor tendon. So the fact that we're back and not on rehab right now, like when we talked to the vet, he's like, we're not sure if this horse will ever rehab. So the fact that he rehabbed A, so fast, and B, he's back now, and like doing the stuff that we need him to do is really amazing, so I'm happy with him. It's definitely been an experience this year, and I'm just happy to be here with him, and hopefully we can do it all again next year.